motorhome I've got in front of me uh, is the Cartago Chic C line integrated 5.3 the Queen bed SL version and uh, now this uh, film video is a special request before starting off with the tour I'll give you some of the most important details about it and we'll start off with the most important of them all the price 102,630 euros that is the base price by the time you start adding on options it could end up costing a great deal more its length is 779 centimeters width 227 and external height 289 centimeters the chassis is a Fiat Alco low frame 40 heavy and this has a gross vehicle weight of 4,250 kilos but as this is a new vehicle and they haven't quite decided what they're putting in it yet uh, the unladen weight is not yet known but I suspect there'll be plenty of payload. Inside the motorhome it's got a lounge seating group with opposite side sofas and extra wide aisle to the driver's cabin with the option of a third or fourth passenger seat. Above the driver's cabin there's a sleeping area with a bed measuring 195 times 160 centimeters. There's a corner kitchen with a curved work surface extended at the side to the shaped bathroom wall. The bathroom itself uh, has a separate washroom, toilet room and a changing room and the changing room can be created by the use of partitions. One of these partitions on the side of the queen bed has a television incorporated into it. Now the queen bed is quite big, has easy access, wardrobes on either side and two big drawers at its uh, foot. There's the option of a pedelec garage with a load height extension up to 124 centimeters and a load capacity of 350 kilos. Right, so having said that, I am now going to show you some of the new things that uh, this company has introduced for 2020. Uh, the first thing is up front, uh, okay they often change the, the face so that, I mean that's nothing unusual there but what they have actually put the LED technology in the headlights and apparently this gives up to around 25% more visibility than halogen. Now they, um, I saw a demonstration of this a couple of days ago and obviously I appreciate this was a film in, of a demonstration but uh, there was a major difference. Uh, I personally have never actually felt any problems with, uh, with headlamp, headlamps, but uh, there could be times when this is a problem. Another thing that changed is the back of the vehicle. Okay. So the back. And, uh, right, well, this is. into it it's going to be uh, noticeable right uh, let's have a look inside because the request I got to show was can I show the lounge so we'll go and see that now there's a very nice feature as you come in is the uh, gym storeroom um, how can I put it the cellar the, look how big it is, a 
Look how much storage space in there. Now, the double floor is really big, as you can see from here. Now that's great for keeping the thing warm, but also because of the, the storage and things you possibly won't be using all that often can go in there uh, before they go into the garage, for example. Well, alternatively, I mean, it's, it's relatively easy to get to, so, uh, you know, could be for more daily things, any, w whatever. <laughs> But I mean, that's a fantastic amount of storage, in my opinion. Another thing, as you come in here, is the is this. I'm going to go back a bit. So make now, as you come into the vehicle, now I put a thing up here. You know these uh, things which sort of close close the door like that, so block people from getting in, um, theoretically. And I put that up because I thought, okay, when I take my mother out somewhere, it'd be handy if I pull the thing up and she's got something to get a hold of as she, as she gets into the van. Not that she really used it very often. Now, this thing here also is a sort of thing you can sort of get a hold of to pull yourself into the van, if you like. But alternatively, I mean, it looks very nice, let's face it, well, matter of taste, of course, but it, 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 I think it looks pretty good. But you may take the view that, uh -huh, that's a decorative element, and do you really want decorative element when, when space is at a premium? Oh, another little feature as well, so you've got the Carthago name lit up down there. And it turns off when the light goes off. So, coming in, now, uh, the request was to show the lounge area. So what do you think of the seating group? Because that was a question for me. What do I think? And uh, rather than say what I think, um, I'm more interested in what other, others think. It's an unusual type of seat seating group. Um, I think by the amount of space it's down here, which, which is free. Yeah, I'm sort of just sort of thinking about this. Anyway, let's come up to the come up to the front. Okay, you can see the uh, Fiat. Um, it's one of these um, automatic gear boxes. Uh, another feature that's been introduced for 2020 is what they call their um, safety vision um, system or something like that. It means it means the windscreen is bigger. <laughs> Oh, another thing, another point, another point as well. This has been termed by Cartago as the sideboard. I think that's a translation from German. And uh, it, it's very nicely integrated, though, isn't it? Well, in my opinion, into the, the dashboard and coming along like that. So, it, whereas, obviously, it's still, it's a vehicle, but the objective of this vehicle is to... Uh, make this look as much like a home as possible. Now, to do that, you possibly would need to do things like take the uh, steering wheel off and hide the uh, gear stick. <laughs> but uh, 
Maybe that's just going over the top a bit. Right, now the rest of it has got what, uh, again, Cartago DNA and you can sort of recognize it for being Cartago even without the, the signs, you know, the color scheme and uh, the lighting as well. I, I, personally, I think the, back, the background lighting is really quite outstanding. Okay, let's come in the kitchen. Oh, I'll show you another thing here which has just been introduced. This is a 2020 introduction. This. Bins in the van in this position. Well, um, obviously this is a matter of taste. I mean, I think bins have to go somewhere. I mean, I've got a bucket in my van and it just gets messed around from one place to another. Um, it gets in my way and um, I know other people use plastic bags. Um, some uh, companies have the bin in the door. These bins are large, but not as large as they could be, in my opinion. Uh, so I would I would like to see them much larger than that. And also, I don't think they're using the space as much as they could be. Now, the same bins have been used in other um, vehicles, so I get the impression a little bit that these ones, um, they just try to put the same bins throughout. But the same, I mean, from the Malibu van to the most expensive, and this uh, this vehicle here is becoming in in the the upper class of uh, most expensive. Uh, they're, they're all exactly the same. Anyway, there could be some reasons for some of the things. Uh, I've just said, and I'll see if I can get the designer in. Just if you'll if you go on 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 camera to talk about it, and I'll bring the subject up with him. Right, let's have a look up here. Now I think that's class. Uh, hinges are of very good quality, and here we have the coffee machine which goes up and down. Now, uh, the glass cabinet, I know there's a, that's a matter of taste. Do you like it or don't you like it? comes out being attached to the door. This is still using a, 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 uh, the traditional way of doing things. Now e each side of the bed behind the wardrobe there's a space for keeping uh, uh, books or your know, telephone or empty bottles of beer or whatever you might have brought into bed with you and uh, you can charge a telephone from one of those points. Now above the bed, skylight, television over there. Okay, here's another thing just been introduced. Um, the reason that there is in different positions because you want if you want to lock it, you lock it like that. Do this as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it closed. Uh, this thing here comes out like that. It goes across like that. Why is there a hole? Well, you need a hole because of that. 
I'm gonna just play on it if you wanna close the hole. There you go. You might wanna leave open ventilation. your hair just before going to bed and then don't bother drying it. Well, I, was, I just sat myself in front of the film last night and uh, at the computer. So I rarely do. I was uploading a film I've done of the Mercedes Carnival Mercedes. And uh, I didn't turn. So I just keep and wash my hair and then I obviously it didn't dry.
Thank you.